Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Luis, and this is Survival Chick. Hey, guys, this video is a part two of the previous tactical gear review, so check it out. Some scenes I took out. I carry this tactical box, this Plano box, which I carry in my vehicle. Currently, I have it here because I was restocking it. I used some items. You guys wish to see what I have in, in this box. I do have this uh, oxygen observers. I have a Camillus titanium knife right here. And keep in mind, guys, all these knives that I have on my backpacks, well, except for this one, this is one of those Walmart packs that are around $30 or $29. The one that comes with the machete, knife, the paracord, flashlight. I'll list that on the video too, or I'll put it somewhere right here on the video. Most of these camellias or anything that says this brand, I got it from Walmart at clearance after the holidays. I usually go hunting for clearance for some tactical stuff, outdoor gear, right after the holidays. And that's the same thing I will do this Memorial Day after this Memorial Weekend. It's stuck in there. I don't want to pull it out. There. There it goes. After this Memorial Day weekend or Memorial Weekend is over, I'm going to go hunting for glow sticks, which a pack of 48 right now in blue and red and white, I believe, are $6.98. The, the pack. And I'm hoping it drops either to 50% off. Most of the time I wait till it's 90% off. But somebody's been clearance shopping just like me and my wife do. So some of the items been going away quicker. So I'm going to try to get some of that. I also got this Mossy Oak fishing knife. Which I use whenever we're fishing. It's really good. This knife, I also got it on clearance. I got multiple packs of these. And I did give some away for, for last Christmas. And I kept extra for myself. I have this black smoke firework which is a smoke bomb it's a black hat smoke bomb it works I, I don't remember if it pops right after but in case any emergency that still I use smoke for that I do have these big shrink tissue that if you wet you'll get some tissue out of there these I got them from Amazon if y'all can remember the last video I did one of the videos I did and I do carry alcohol wipes. The only thing I don't like about these alcohol wipes is they're not in Mylar little bags. Which I'm not sure if these are still good. Due to the heat outside, these will evaporate and then just be dry uh, pads. I carry a lighter for the smoke bomb in case I need it. You never know what you need a smoke bomb for, so <laughs> I carry a smoke bomb. That's just me, guys. I have these three small emergency flares which are also fire starters these are Orion fire starters I have a pack of warmers from Walmart too these two glow three glow sticks from the Amazon order I did not so long ago too where those big otters came I have a pack of 9 milli Ruger 50 rounds extra ammo in case I need it and last but not least some more road flares just in case of an emergency so all this is just in case I need it uh, ammo for sure in case you there's an actual emergency shit hits the fan it's there for a reason all of this is here for a reason it might not all work I might not have everything for every situation, but a little bit, something is better than nothing. And so far, I like the way I have this stashed, where I just got to put everything back the way it was. And since I don't have too much space in my truck, this is the smallest I carry. Plus one of these, one of these uh, medikits, uh, I'm switching to replace one of those because I do have the outdoor medikit box that I've been using so some of that needs to be replaced ASAP I'll probably do that right after this video so if you're wondering what kind of body armor this is this is a Testudo AR 500 plate carrier I do own two of them and they're really good they're really good quality I also own the NC star or the next next star tactical vest which I have right here these go for about $60 a piece which is not bad guys, it's a really good quality vest. Uh, it does have options to wear plate, but since it zips up through the middle, it has side plates, it doesn't have a full cover, you you will have a gap in the middle. It has its hook, uh, its carry hook from the bag, just like this Testudo does. So if you fall or someone you need help, this is really good. It's also lightweight, this is one of the options I would wear 
if I'm not wearing plate carriers with me because they do weigh you a lot, especially if you're carrying a steel plate like I am. But this is not a really bad uh, option. Budget friendly. I got that from Optics Planet. They do go for $60 plus tax and shipping. I'm not sure if they have free shipping, but go ahead and check it out. This Draco, Draco, this Draco backpack I got it from Academy, also around $60. It is expensive. You could find some better prices at Timu for these type of backpacks. I would not suggest getting a big one like this. I would suggest getting something smaller like this one. And this McGadden Outdoor, I got it from Academy, way cheaper price. I believe it was around $30. And I got my kids some small ones, which are go for, I believe, $15, which are still really good. And if you want, I'll do a video on those of what we have in our, because those are, these are considered our bug out bags. These are our stay at home EDC carry bags, or we, get, we also sometimes use them for the range. Whenever we go out to the range, we carry our stuff here, because this is a tactical backpack. This is just a regular outdoor camping backpack, but I'll suggest anyone this Megalian Outdoor backpack from Academy over this Draco or any other expensive backpack for technical use. Like I said, Timu does have some pretty good prices. If I'm not mistaken, I've seen the cheapest go around $21. I wouldn't go so high spending too much. I would just test out the gear. If you order something, you test the gear out, see if you're comfortable with it. If not, either give it as a gift and during Christmas, the holiday, someone's birthday, or just resell it, get your money back and reinvest it on something that you're actually gonna like to wear and use. Cause all these guys, you gotta test it out before you're actually gonna carry it for survival or for emergencies. Most of these items for me, they're emergencies. My emergency survival preps, it's not cause I'm crazy or I think the world's gonna end. It's just, just in case, it's my just in case stash of products that will help me survive in any critical conditions or any emergencies may arise in the future. So for that, I take precautions. I take care of my family. I was raised in the outdoors, so I like having things that will help me while, while I'm out there doing my thing. And like I said, guys, I'll continue doing more videos like this. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Peace.